The Simpsons family has graced us with their wacky misadventures over the past 26 years. Matt Groening's creation has spread across the entire world and has now become a household name. In fact, the Simpsons universe is so insanely popular that this is actually our second cartoon conspiracy episode dedicated to this yellow family. The Simpsons have gone through many trials and tribulations. But what if they were all just imagined in the empty head of Springfield's donut-eating hero? What if the events of the Simpsons are actually just the dreams of a comatose Homer Simpson? This theory spawned on Reddit has taken the internet by storm over the last month. And it's actually been requested to us by several of you. The conspiracy goes as follows. Homer Simpson has been in a coma for over 20 years. The conspiracy begins with the episode Homer the Heretic, which aired October 8th, 1992. In the episode, Homer decides he doesn't want to go to church anymore and that he'd rather worship God in his own way. At the end of the episode, Homer has a dream that he's actually talking to God. Now in this conversation, Homer asks for the meaning of life and God responds that he'll find out when he dies in six months. On April 1st, 1993, six months later, the episode, So It's Come to This, a Simpsons clip show, airs. This episode involves Bart pranking Homer so bad that he gets sent to the hospital where he's actually then crushed by a vending machine and put into a coma. However, the episode ends with Homer waking up from his coma and choking Bart. The original conspiracy proposes that Homer never woke up. He's still in a coma, and every single episode after this one is just a dream. This is why the characters don't age. Homer last remembers his kids as 10, 8, and 1 years old, so they'll always appear like that in his imagination. Of course, he is semi-aware that time is passing. In his comatose state, he can still kind of hear his family talking to him. Like Marge and Lisa talking about pop culture or celebrities, which could explain all the celebrity cameos in The Simpsons. So if they're talking about Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, or the newest Mel Brooks movie, this will appear in Homer's dreams. The conspiracy goes on to claim that the episodes that air after the April Fool's one are a lot zanier than the ones before it. For example, in the episodes prior to April 1st, 1993, normal things happen to the Simpsons family, like Bart cheats at an IQ test or Homer tries to give up drinking. But in the episodes after, crazy things happen, like Homer goes into space or Mr. Burns captures the Loch Ness Monster. Because we are assuming this is all taking place in his imagination, Homer can think up all these crazy things that would never happen to his family in real life. Well, that's a lot of information, so let's figure it out. Is Homer Simpson really in a coma? So let's go back and figure this one out. Well, first of all, there are several birthdays in The Simpsons. In an episode in season 12 and in an episode in season 14, Lisa celebrates a birthday. That's two birthdays, making her two years older than she would have been at the April Fool's episode. And in another episode in season 14, Maggie celebrates her second birthday. So now let's get into some science. Regarding the topic of hearing and seeing things while in a coma and the ability to dream, based off of studies conducted by researchers of the Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine, this is actually true. Some coma patients actually do hear things that are happening around them and some actually open their eyes at random times. But because they're placed on their backs, they're limited to only seeing the ceiling above them. Also, some do dream. So there is actually a lot of real life validity to this theory. But there are a couple more things that have come about in the more recent episodes of The Simpsons. For example, if Homer were a comatose patient only being able to see the ceiling occasionally, how would he know what an iPhone looks like or how it even works? And how would he know what a flat screen TV looks like without someone explaining it to him in excruciating detail? And also on the note of the celebrities, he may have heard Justin Bieber's name, but how would he know what he looks like? He could hear about what Lady Gaga's wearing or Justin Bieber's bowl cut, but how would he know exactly who these celebrities are? I mean, it could be possible that maybe the events of The Simpsons are just imaginated and exaggerated through Homer's insane mind. But comatose dreams, I'm not buying it. So on the plausibility meter, I'm going to give the Homer in a coma conspiracy three El Bartos out of five. We have been listening to your comments, so here's what you guys thought of this episode. Nicholas Perales said, Maybe he's in a food coma. Well, Homer 
did sell his soul for a donut, so it's entirely possible that the entire thing was actually a donut-induced coma. Hylore X wrote, Who's putting all these characters in comas and why? Maybe there's a larger conspiracy behind all of the cartoons ever to have existed. Alex Plaza wrote, can you guys reply to me so I feel special? Hi Alex, does this count as a reply? If so, thank you for watching. And finally, Daniel Byrne said, I suggested this to you, thank you. And thank you for your suggestion. We are reading your comments guys, so please leave us suggestions for conspiracies you'd like us to cover. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cartoon Conspiracies. I know this is a very popular conspiracy about a very popular TV show, so I'm sure you have a lot of opinions. Let me know in the comments. If you guys have any suggestions for any conspiracies you'd like us to cover, email us or even send us a video and we might feature it. Make sure you guys join the channel Frederator Network and subscribe to channel Frederator and I'll see you guys next week.